solve by the substitution method. x plus 2y equals 6 and 2x plus 3y equals 7. Now I don't have either of these equations already solved for a variable, so I need to solve one of them for a variable. And I'm going to pick this first equation because it has a, an x term with a coefficient of 1. So I can pretty easily solve it for x. I have x plus 2y equals 6. And subtracting 2y on both sides, I have x equals negative 2 times y plus 6. Now I can substitute negative 2 y plus 6 in the second equation and solve for y. So I'll have 2 times negative 2y plus 6 plus 3y equals 7. Removing parentheses, I have negative 4 times y plus 12 plus 3y equals 7. Negative 4y plus 3y is negative 1 times y, or just the opposite of y. And I can subtract 12 on both sides of the equation. I get the opposite of y is equal to negative 5. And if I multiply or divide both sides by negative 1, I have y equals 5. Now we need to find x. And let's go back to this equation where we've already solved for x to do that. I would have x is equal to negative 2 times 5 plus 6, which is negative 10 plus 6, or negative 4. This is the value of x and this is the value of y, so we say that the solution is negative 4, 5.